Hi guys, it's me again, Andrew here. I hope you have enjoyed my video so far and it is informative enough for you. So today, I'd like to share with you the different vehicles that is offered in Labuan and the differences between it. Generally, there are three types of vehicles. The first is the most common private limited companies. You have companies limited by shares or guarantees. Companies limited by shares are known as Sundariam Berhad in Bahasa Malaysia. And in English, it is usually known as private limited. Companies limited by guarantees are usually set up for charitable purposes such as foundations. Then you have partnerships. A partnership is a setup between two or more partners in a business. A partnership is governed by a partnership agreement and the agreement will lay out all such terms and conditions that is binding between the partners and how the partnership can be terminated. And you have a simple establishment such as a sole proprietorship which a foreigner would not be able to establish. So what I have shared with you just now are companies or establishments offered in the peninsula of Malaysia. Another corporate structure that you can use to run your business is the Labuan Company. Well, a Labuan Company can be a Labuan trading company or a non-trading company. A Labuan non-trading company is an investment holding company. As the name suggests, you may park your assets in this company and enjoy 0% tax. Well, the details we will share in our next session. For now, let me highlight to you the comparison between a Sundiam Bahar and a Labuan company. Now, let's dive into the slide that I'm going to show you now for the comparison between a Labuan company and a Sundiam Bahar. Well, now I have done up a table for ease of reference, right? And uh, the benefit of a Labuan company and a Sundiam Bahar which is a private limited again, yeah? So a Labuan company is more exposed to offshore opportunities, obviously, because uh, it is a mid-shore solution for a lot of companies. And it is especially catered for companies trading all around the world. So, and as opposed to a Stamber Hut, it is catered for trading locally in Malaysia mainly right uh, and next up you have a tax regime that caters for various financial related businesses in Labuan and in Sundaram Bahad the tax regime is catered for trading purposes now you have the next benefit where you can hold 100% in foreign currency or Malaysian Ringgit if you are a trading company. However, in Sundar Bahad, you can only retain 30% of the incoming funds in foreign currency. Next up, a Labuan company will definitely be considered as a foreign company. However, in a Sundarian Bahad, which is private limited, it means private limited in Malaysia, in Bahasa Malaysia, it can be construed as a foreign company when a foreign share holding exceeds or equivalent to 51%. And then you have a more straightforward application. Then this is something that I like most because in Labuan Company, application for a work permit is much straight, more straightforward. However, as opposed to a Sundaram Berhad, it is much stringent, complicated 
and um, there are more criteria to be fulfilled basically next we have the governing authority uh, well guys I may not be reading the whole of my list and I will only highlight on those that are most interesting so the governing authorities are uh, in Labuan is the Labuan Financial Services Authority and in Sundiam Berhad you have the Companies Commission of Malaysia and the Securities Commission who is approving all of the financial licenses that is available in the peninsula of Malaysia. Coming up, the distinction between a Sundam Berhad and a Labon company may not be as much. So, uh, because of the amendment in the Companies Act 2016, it has allowed any uh, jurisdiction of citizens to incorporate either a Sundam Berhad or a Labon company. However, for a Labon company, it has always been available for foreigners. Last but not least, you have the scope of services or permitted activities in Labuan. So you have trading activities in Labuan and there are licensed or non-licensed entities. Then you have the non-trading, which is usually known as an investment holding company. Well, I suppose in Sundam Berhad, mostly are normal trading companies. However, if you are to cater for financial services, you may need to apply separately at the Securities Commission of Malaysia. If you are considering moving to Asia, why not consider Labuan as a base? And if you are a freelancer, this may be a haven for you. If you are interested, please do contact me and you may find all my contact details in the description below. And if you have enjoyed all my videos so far, please do subscribe or even press the bell to not miss a single release from me. Thank you. Stay tuned and stay safe.